Hello and welcome back to the Pro Tipster Football Show. We have the dream team back all together today. We have Pro Tipster Dan, Pro Tipster Martin and Pro Tipster Johnny all joining me. And we're going to take a look at some FA Cup action. We also might have a little chat about the return of La Liga and Syria is back after their wee break as well. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's my crappy intro then. Lads, how are you doing? You all well? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, good. Thanks, Paddy. Very good. Uh, you were telling us, Martin, that uh, you like the FA Cup. I do. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I've I've grown up with it in England. Um, yeah, I love I love watching lower league football as well. So maybe that's something to do with it. But yeah, I just enjoy the FA Cup, and I've got to hold it before, which is quite nice. Ooh, wasn't it West Ham's trophy room though? No, no, it wasn't. It was in Barney's trophy room, actually. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was a low dig. I'm sorry, Martin. Uh, uh, Johnny, how are you, man? I'm very well, well rested, and happy New Year to everyone. And looking forward to bounce back with some great, great tips for the weekend. Very good. Hey, um, the lads in here were telling me that you're uh, you're pretty good at uh, tennis tipping. So have you got that off the top of your head? Um, yeah, tennis is back. Um, of course, it's the beginning of the season, so I'm more observing than picking some cracking winners, and uh, hopefully I can uh, time my form for the beginning of the Australian Open, which when when I will try to bring uh, all product to users uh, the best of uh, picks for the for the Australian Open. Magic, Dan, how are you? Um, I'm okay. Um, I'm not as big a fan of the FA Cup as Martin, but I'm old and. Cynical and jaded about it, you know. <laughs> when even championship, yeah. when even championship teams are rotating their squads, it, it's devalued. Uh, it's uh, yeah. When I was going through the odds today, and 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 you kept telling me, no, we're not talking about that match because they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. They don't care. It's like, what? what why should I care? They don't care. Yeah, I, I, I blame Manchester United for this. Um, <laughs> when they when they dropped out the FA Cup to go play yeah. in the uh, Club World Cup, it was all their fault. It all went downhill from there. Yeah, thanks, Man United. Boo. Uh, right, look, let's get into the football then. There are loads of matches and uh, there's plenty of uh, matches between Premier League uh, teams and between Premier League and Championship as well. So we're going to start off though with the all Premier League clash on Friday night of uh, Liverpool and Everton. So um, from our combined 11 podcast that we put out uh, last night, uh, you know that we all kind of fell out about Coutinho and Salah, whether they were mm. going to play. Uh, Dan, what's the latest? Well, it looks like Coutinho's out. Um, Sky Sports in England are reporting that Coutinho will not play. Um, but they're also, there's also reports that Liverpool have hired a private plane to bring back Mo Salah and Sadio Mane from the <laughs> CAF Player of the Year Awards in Accra and Ghana, uh, which are the day before. Um, I believe they're today. So um, they're going to fly them straight back after that. Um, yeah, it's uh, lineup wise. Oh, the other the other question is whether Cheng uh, Cheng Tosin, um, I, I hope our yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, listeners, uh, uh, my colleagues in the office have been trying to educate me on how to pronounce his name. Um, whether he will sign in time? Um, he's uh, Everton have agreed a fee, apparently of twenty seven million pounds for him. Um, that is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Uh, Tosin has been in um, England, um, trying to. Oh, he's agreed terms and everything with Everton. It's just the feed, it's holding things up. There is a deadline, I believe, of midday, um, which um, is not long from when we're actually recording this. Um, he has to be registered, I believe, by midday on Thursday to be eligible to play, so I don't think he'll play because they have to have international clearance. And yeah. um, the Everton fans, from what I've been reading, they've been saying they've got, until they sign uh, their Turkish delight, their words, not mine, <laughs> um, <laughs> they've got, they're a bit short on strikers. Um, it's amazing how pessimistic they are, actually. Um, I, there's also a press conference as well today for both teams, so I'm waiting for news on that. Sam Allardyce has just had his, actually. He said that Michael Keane's not fit enough. He's got an injury. Oh, no, that ruins that combined 11. <laughs> it does, yeah. He's, he's got stitches in his foot, apparently. Oh, lucky. Yeah. Um, have you picked that in here, Dan? I've not, uh, and the reason I've not is it, it, it comes down to lineups. Um because I don't know if uh, Salah and Mane will play. I think Everton will play a um, slightly reserved team. I mean, King being out is huge. That, that to me, has just um, it's just said that uh, 
Everton have got like a less chance of winning than I thought they did. Um, you know, um, mm. I, I'm just looking at it now. Like the odds, Liverpool are 1.44 to win. The line, I'm guessing, should be around one, 1.25 ish. Yeah, 1.25. Uh, Liverpool I, minus 1.25 is 1.93. At the moment, as it stands, I would be looking at Everton on that handicap, but it's a, a you're going to hear me say this a lot, lineups. Lineups are crucial. So yeah. I, I'm going to hold my, I'm going to hold my fire on that one. Okay. Martin, what's your uh, take on this match? Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, exactly what Dan said about the lineups. Got to wait for those. However, I'm kind of preempting then. I've gone for Everton plus one at 2.15. Um, no Michael Keane, but I'm hoping, you know, Jaggy Elka will come in instead of Williams, um, because I don't rate Williams this season at all. Um, but yeah, you look at No Coutinho, Salah and Mane, with their travelling, they could well be on the bench. Um, they might come on if things start to go wrong, but uh, like Liverpool could have like a front line of, you know, Lalana, um, the Ox, Mane, potentially Sol- Solanke and Sturridge, and uh, I mean, that doesn't excite me. Um, so I think, I think Liverpool are too short here, so I, I think the value certainly in uh, Everton on the handicap. And all four FA Cup games at, at Anfield have been draws, funnily enough, so it wouldn't surprise me if this one was another draw. Oh, nice start. Uh, Johnny, did you see Anton here? Um, I agree with both guys. Um, I, I've gone for Everton plus 1.5, which seems to be like more the, the safe option uh, in this match. Obviously, it depends a lot on the lineups, and it's... We, we, I'm not big fan of FA Cup to be honest because you, you need to see the lineups uh, mm-hmm. to make something out of it but the only the only fact that scares me is uh, when last time Everton won against Liverpool actually in a competitive game it, it, it is a while I think from what I've read um, so but anyway uh, yeah Everton plus 1.5 seems to be like a option even if Liverpool play their uh, let's say the strong side or um, still, uh, with so many matches going on, uh, and they need to rotate in a in, in way. And uh, I don't expect uh, even if Liverpool win, they will not win by big in the in this game. All right, fair enough. Let's uh, let's go to Saturday then, and we'll come back to the FA Cup action in a moment. But I want to start with the uh, La Liga match. Uh, so it's coming back. This weekend, and the only one really that tickled our fancy was uh, fifth place Seville are taking on fourteenth place uh, Betis. Uh, Seville will have their new manager Vincenzo Montella in charge after they fired Eduardo uh, Berizzo, which was just—I mean, firing a guy who just got over cancer. That's just yeah. Oh, like, could could you? I don't know if you could. Like, is it possible to not like Seville anymore? That, wow. you know, they're not even doing that bad. Yeah, exactly. It was just four. They did. They they were without four wins in a row, so they fired them. But they had a couple mm. of draws, like you know. Anyway, right, Martin. Since you're the first to chirp up, what do you uh, see here? Um, huge game. It's actually on my bucket list. I'd love to go to this game. Um, this derby. Um, although I think Sevilla got the edge and had the edge over the last few years. They won the last five in a row. Um, some best have only actually scored one goal. In the last seven games between the two sides. So although it's a fierce derby, Betis don't don't seem to have too much in recent years. Um, and six of the last seven, both teams to score no has actually come in. So I actually think Sevilla so a little bit on the short side here. So I actually think the value is in both teams to score no selection at two point zero seven because I, I think Sevilla will just win it comfortably one nil two nil. Um, just look at the last five wins in a row: two, one, one, nil, two, nil, four, nil, two, nil. Um, yeah, I can just just see it going kind of the same way. And again, new manager—they always seem to do well. Look at Car- Carver Hal for Swansea. He won his first game, and uh, as one example, they always seem to get off to a good start. So, Sevilla for me um, will win it by one or two, nil. Okay, very good, uh, Johnny. Uh, to follow up on what Martin said, I fully agree. Uh, I've gone for Sevilla minus one Asian handicap at 1.79. Uh, Betis are simply not, uh, even if it's a derby and I think it's one of the hottest derbies in, in, in Spain, the whole city will live with, 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 with the game the whole day, even a few days before. 
but I don't think Betis are of the quality that can match uh, Sevilla. And they are in quite bad form as well. Although, they, if you remember, a few months back, they beat Real Madrid. Uh, I think it was away, away from home as, uh, as well, Betis. But, yeah, uh, I think the last time the Betis won against Sevilla was in Europa League uh, in, in 2014. Uh, Sevilla are a better team at the moment, uh, and I expect very similar results to what Martin said, 1-0, 2-0, 3-0. So, minus one at the Asian Handicap. It's, uh should be a safe option if they win by one. It, uh, it's a stake back. Okay, good stuff. Uh, Dan, do you see anything here? Um, I've gone completely the other way. <laughs> are you, are you um, questioning yourself found? now? Are you? What I'm, found? I, I'm going completely the other way. I, I, I just don't think that um, that Suya are going to hammer Betis. I really don't. I, I think it'll be one nil. Um, I mean, I, I looked at the odds for like Sevilla to win, and Sevilla are one point five five to win, or something like that. And as as people who listen to this podcast will know, that sort of thing doesn't inter- doesn't interest me. That they're, they're unbeaten in twenty one home games across all competitions. Yeah, okay, no bother. You know, I'm I'm not touching it. But I'm not. I'm just not convinced that that it's going to be more of their um. Uh, it, it's going to be like a massive, massive game for like m- like lots of goals. Um, you look at how many times they've scored. Um, yeah, okay, they're winning games, but the winning games two nil, two one, two one, two one, two nil, one nil. There's there's never that many goals in it, and with it being a derby as well and a hotly contested derby, I can't see them smashing Betis. And so I've gone for um, Betis at um, plus one at two point zero three um, because. Um, so if, if Betis lose by uh, two or more, um, I win. And if uh, they lose by one, uh, I get um, yeah. But bas- basically, I, I think I, I think I'm going to get some money out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I don't think I'll lose by two or more. And you know, I I I, I think it's going to be a lot tighter than than it looks. Um, I also have read. And I'm sorry to say this, this new manager bounce thing is actually not true. Um, it's, it's a massive urban myth that managers come in and teams play better. Mm-hmm. I support one of the few teams in the world that actually, I, I can say hand on heart, that, that doesn't happen. You know, Steve Cottrell <laughs> came in and we won one in like nine. Um, you know, uh, I, I don't buy it. I, I don't buy this new manager bounce thing. And may, maybe I'm completely wrong, but um, I'm going against the grain here. Because someone's got to. Thanks for listening to the Pro Tipster Football Show. Check out ProTipster.com where you can earn money by sharing your tips and coupons. Sign up now and get our free daily newsletter where our experts share their tips. Go to ProTipster.com for more details. Dan, I want to speak with you for the next match. Let's return to Blighty and uh, the All Premier League clash in the FA Cup between Man City and Man Burnley. And Man Burnley? What am I saying? Between Man City and Burnley. <laughs> A burly man, maybe that's what I'm thinking. A Freudian slip there, dear listener. Um, basically, Dan, I want to come to you because I know you're having trouble with one of the players' names. What, Man City versus Burnley? Yeah, yeah Tosin Adar- uh, There you go. <laughs> Adarabaya. <laughs> Tosin Adarab- He's got it on his Twitter page so you can understand how to pronounce his name and I still can't do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so Man City played Burnley. Um, I-, I had a look through the Man City uh, message boards and all the fans are saying, yeah, just play the kids, who cares? Um, mm. And... I can kind of you see Man City have got problems in defence at the moment because of injury. Um, you know, Mangala wasn't fully fit. Company's been injured in and out with injury. I think Stones might get a game because he needs minutes, but I can see them playing Adarabio because you know why not? There, there you go, got, got it that time. <laughs> Sinchenko at left back. Um, also up front as well because um, Jesus has picked up that uh, knee injury. He's gonna be out for a few weeks. Do they rest uh, Aguero? Do you know? Give it, you know, because they can't afford to lose both, maybe. So, will they play someone like uh, Nemecha up front, maybe, possibly, or will they just go, you know, like uh, the, the the whole false nine thing and play Bernardo Silva, um, Sterling, and Sane? I think Burnley will actually play quite a strong side um, because, you know, the, 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 I, I, I think there's a gap after this game anyway. 
And um, but always, always check the lineups before you place a bet in the FA Cup. Um, I think this is going to be another one where because uh, at the moment the line is at two 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 point two five, and as it stands, I would be back in Burnley on that line because I don't think Man City's second string are going to like. I, I don't believe at this moment in time Man City are ripping teams apart and I would be betting against that but if Burnley play a second string side against you know Man City and Man City have got some decent players out then yeah that bet's going to be wasted Right uh, Johnny uh, believe, me, believe it or not I'm, I'm with Dan on this one Burnley plus 2.25 at 1.79 uh, exactly what Dan said um if we consider that Man City will prob- not probably feel the strongest eleven, um, and with the, their defense problems, uh, I expect Barney to not to not to get a result, but not to get hammered at least. And if even if they lose by two goals, uh, our bet wins, so half wins. So this is a this is I think the most value bet or the vast most value pick that I've. Uh, found uh, from the matches that we we will discuss or that we have discussed already. Yeah. Alright. Cool. Uh, Martin. Uh, yeah. Basically, we're all in agreement. I've gone. I've gone for Burnley plus two on the Asian handicap at two point zero three. Um, again, as with the FA Cup, always wait for the lineups. But I expect City to field some youngsters, and I, I do. As, as Dan said, I do actually expect Burnley to field a pretty strong team. So I don't know if they got this strength fit depth to rotate too much. And they're doing so well in the league. They don't actually need to worry about uh, their league form at the minute. So they, they could well give the FA Cup a good go. Um, so I think Burnley are great value on the Asian handicap. Good stuff there. Okay, so uh, let's go on to the next match then. We have the Championship leaders. Wolves are taking on um, you know, a Premiership relegation fodder Swansea. Um, <laughs> This, uh, Dan, you, I'm going to start with you because you you were telling me earlier before we start recording you've been on some of the message boards. Yeah, um, I've got one word written on my on my, on my <laughs> can't repeat that. What reserves? No, I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> reserves. That's the the, the, the common theme. Um, looking through because uh, I always look through fans fans message boards when I when I don't know a team to see what what fans think. Who should be playing because they're the ones who watch their teams week in week out. Wolves fans are like they're putting up teams and it's just kids because you know they're, they're, they're so far in front of the uh, at the top of the championship they don't want to they don't want to destroy that but, you know they've got bad experiences of West Brom catching them when they're eleven mm. points behind. Um, so yeah, <laughs> and Swansea, Swansea have got bigger fish to fry. You know, um, Carvalhal did well like to win two one this first game. Lost to Spurs in his second one. They, 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 they need. You see, this is this is the dichotomy. On the one hand, winning's a habit, and winning an FA Cup game can help you to build a uh, um, a uh, a momentum uh, of winning in the league. You're getting but distracted by girls passing the windows. I, I'm just <laughs> getting distracted by myself. <laughs> I, 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 do you see girls anywhere here? <laughs> no, but you have you have a better angle on the office than I do. <laughs> uh, no, I, as I say, you know the, the, the dichotomy is is do you, do you stick with a strong team and build and try and build a momentum of winning, or do you risk players getting injured uh, badly and it completely messing up your league season? Wolves, I think, can afford to uh, play strong a stronger team because they're that far in front. Um, you know, the, 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 it's it's fair enough, you know, but I think they'll still rotate. And again, it's lineups, you know, um, because I'm not convinced that Wall's second string is that good, and I'm not convinced Swansea's first team is that good. Um, I, there was a clip on Reddit of Renato Sanchez against Spurs, and he's just horrible. <laughs> it's just, it was just so bad, and um, yeah. So I, I've not I've not put anything on this, and I I might to a, I might you know an hour before the game, but until I see the lineup, so I'm not convinced. Yeah, that's fair enough, uh, Johnny. You got in here? Uh, I can't agree more with Dan. With Dan, uh, I, I think just this game comes in a bad time for both of the teams. Wolves are concentrated on the championship. They they got the lead in there, and they don't want to spoil it up. Swansea, they've got completely different problems, I think, than FA Cup. 
to, to, to worry about. So it all depends what teams they, they feel and it's difficult to, to, to find a value in the early market. Uh, if I would have to pick something, I would lean more towards the Wolves, but, uh, he, uh, considering it's an FA Cup and what, what, what we said, uh, until now, I would go for very low stakes. Okay, Martin? Yeah, exactly what the other two have said. I haven't really got anything else to add apart, you know, apart from the fact that I, I, I believe in momentum and uh, I, I feel Wolves will potentially go to win this and at 1.79 is a little bit on the short side. Um, but with, with Johnny, um, if, if I, going to back anything it would probably be Wolves but leaving it alone until the lineups come out as you probably know podcasts still grow by word of mouth show your support for the pro tipster football show by telling your football mad friends all about our podcast or by leaving a nice review for us on iTunes next up was Fulham and Southampton Fulham are doing pretty well in the championship they've hit some form Southampton have not even though the mighty Shane Long is back on fire obviously um, Johnny you 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 don't you want to be avoided on this one so we'll leave you alone on this uh, Martin um, it's an intriguing one um, I wonder if if Fulham end up winning this I wonder how long Pellegrino's actually got left because I, I think fans are starting to get a little bit annoyed by um, how bad Southampton are doing they're struggling they are really struggling and again, like like Swansea, this has come at the wrong time. They they do not want to be playing this game, so um, they'll be focusing on the Premier League. Because it's a shame because I love the FA Cup, but nowadays it's all about the money in the Premier League, and nobody cares about anything else. It's all about staying in the Premier League, um, which is good for Fulham because I think um, I think they're good value. I've gone for Fulham, uh, draw no bets, so a plus zero on the Asian handicap at two point two five. And I think they've got a great chance. I don't think Southampton have played their full strength. Um, Ryan Sessegnon as well is unbelievable. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen him play recently, but he's the left back. I think he's only 17 or something silly. But Fulham have got, um, he's surely going to go in January or, or the summer. Seven goals and four assists so far this season. Um, there's no, I looked at the goals. There's no value in both teams score 1.54 and overs is 1.66. So horrendously low for me to even consider. So, yeah, I just think the predicament Southampton are in at the moment, uh, full of a great value for me, so that's what I've gone for. What do you think, Dan? I'll go for, I'll go for points for the 2.82. Um, nice. it, it, it's, I'm going to echo what Martin was saying about Southampton fans not being happy. Uh, when I was in England over Christmas, I, I, I heard on TalkSport, people, uh, Southampton fans calling up, um, saying that Pellegrino's got to go. Looked on their message board today, and there are... Uh, their plans, they were talking about this game against Fulham and they were all like, yeah, like, this is the game we get Pellegrino out. Pellegrin, uh, Pellegrin go. Um, <laughs> so evidently, um, Southampton fans are taking this, uh, match, uh, um, seriously in that respect. Um, just going back to Ryan Sessignon, um, there was a link actually, uh, linking him to Southampton. Because of course they got 75 million to spend from Liverpool. True. Um, their pocket money from Liverpool, this transfer window. Um, so, you know, Sessignon, I don't know if he's the kind of, he's certainly the, the, the kind of player they would be looking at, but I think he'll, he, Sessignon himself, if he does move on from Fulham, will be going higher than Southampton. Yeah, um, Liverpool United for me. That's what, that's what Liverpool United are crying out for. Oh, uh, Man United someone, especially. Um, yeah. Um, but, uh, th- there was rumours that, uh, Real Madrid were looking at him. Um. Interesting. But yeah, it's, it's, he's you know seventeen, scoring goals from left back, play left wing as well. I think it's like a, mm. I, I, I've got a feeling I've not seen enough of him to to be able to say this with any confidence. But the fact that he's scoring so many goals from left back, I wonder if he's going to be like the next Gareth Bale, start left back but end up as a left winger, left forward. Yeah, maybe he got a hat trick the other week, didn't he? Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, that's nuts. So um, <laughs> yeah, but Fulham at two point eight two. Again, it is one for where you should be looking at alignments, but just Southampton is so bad, and there's so mm. much bile and vitriol, and you know, um, Pellegrino is <laughs> under so much pressure. Um, I think that'll all tell. Stuff right then. Let's move on to another uh, Championship versus Premier League match. This is uh, Norwich are taking on Chelsea. I don't know if you saw the stat that was out on Reddit this morning. Alvaro Morata's shot conversion with his head is twenty nine percent. His shot conversion with his feet is only 8%. He missed a hat full of chances against Arsenal 
the other night. It was a great match to watch, but uh, unfortunately for him, he was just shocking bad in front of goal. Uh, Johnny, let's start with you then. Um, yeah, interesting match. Uh, from what I read and from the, from the expected team of Chelsea, which uh, I found that Conte could field without Morata, with Batshuayi up front, Pedro William and with some youngsters. Um, I, I, I've gone for Norwich plus 1.25 at 1.8, but again with uh, very low stakes as uh, it's FA Cup. Or I was thinking of both th- both teams to score no at 1.84. Um, as I think even if Chelsea will, will rotate, they will play with some young guys and without their best players, uh, they will want to get the job done, and they will not, they, they will not want to uh, play another another uh, what's it uh, called in proper English uh, replay. Replay, play, yeah, exactly. Um, so I can I expect them. Yeah, I expect Norwich to get. They can come out very relaxed. Uh, they don't have anything to lose. Uh, and even and if Chelsea win, it, it won't be like a super hammering defeat uh, for, for Norwich. So Norwich plus 1.25 at 1.8. Okay, good stuff. Uh, Dan? Um, this is an interesting one. Um, I'm just going to add to your Alvaro our, our Morata stat. Um, expected goals for the Arsenal game. Arsenal were 1.23. Alvaro Morata was 1.15. <laughs> which I think is incredible. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, this is this is an intriguing one because Chelsea have got. I was just looking through their fixture list. Obviously, they play Arsenal in the League Cup semi on Wednesday. Then they got Leicester. Um, they, they, they've got like um, if if they if they draw with Norwich, they'll have like games Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, all the way through January, and they don't want that. And then the Champions League will. Start. And then the Champions League will start. So. <clears throat> Chelsea go, Chelsea want the game decided on the day and I guess um you shouldn't say this but you know it's like uh you know win or lose draw draws dr- draws not what you want um there's not much about this on the Chelsea forums that I can see I mean the only thing I saw was someone say start Morata he, you know he needs to rebuild his confidence after missing so many against uh Arsenal but um Norwich fans oh <laughs> Norwich fans are not happy either. Um, I, I've got <laughs> friends who are Norwich fans, and um, there, there, there's a lot going on with them saying that the board don't have ambition. There's, there's, their results have not been great, and um, yeah, you look at you look at the um, Chelsea one point four seven to win. The lines at what one point two five, I think. About yeah, one point yeah, two five. Yeah, yeah, yeah about one point two five. So. Um, again, it's gonna be lineups. If if Batchway starts, I'm all over Norwich. If Morata starts, Chelsea. That's where it stands for me because I I do not rate Batchway. Actually, I'll go even better than that. If Batchway starts, Norwich. If anyone but Batchway starts, Chelsea. <laughs> that 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 is the sum of my bet on this. Um, may, maybe I've been a bit harsh on Mitchy Batchway, but yeah, I don't no, rate him. I don't think you are, uh, Martin. Um, yeah, same as Dan, really. Um, I actually, if it was, I can't find any value to be honest. So if I go for anything, I'll probably just go for for, for Chelsea at one point four seven. Just stick them in an ac- accumulator or, or or something like that. Um, Norwich just aren't very good. Uh, I couldn't understand why their fans are annoyed. Two wins in the last ten at home, uh, which isn't great. And Chelsea have got Arsenal in midweek. However, we all know that. No matter what, what stage that competition, uh, the League Cup, Arsenal always play kids. So I don't know if Chelsea will be that worried about fielding too much of a second string here. Um, but yeah, even if Batshuayi does or doesn't play, you know, you still got Pedro Willian, you know, you like to drink water and, and, and Rudiger to come in. I think they'll have too much for Norwich. So although I can't see any value, I expect Chelsea to, um, to beat Norwich. If you have any betting questions you'd like to ask, don't be shy. Get in touch with Patty, Martin, or Dan on Twitter. Protipster IRL, Protipster EN, or Protipster DAN. Or on Facebook at Protipster UK. Alright, good stuff. Let's move on then to another 
uh, Championship versus Premier League one. So uh, Nottingham Forest have taken on Arsenal. There's a couple of talking points here. Uh, Forest have recently sacked uh, Mark Warburton. Um, yeah. What was his name? Uh, Karankar is the favourite at the moment uh, to get the job, although Steve McLaren is apparently in it as well, but his odds are, are, are way up in the air, so maybe he's not going to take it. Um Arsenal have recently been spoiling us with their Premier League games. The Liverpool match was, was really good. The Manchester United match was brilliant. The Chelsea match there the other night was, was class as well. And, uh, yeah, thanks for this stat, Dan. Could, uh, like, will Arsenal go for this? Because they could become only the second team, uh, to ever complete a Europa League and FA Cup double. The last team to do so, the first team to do so was Liverpool in 2001. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for that. Um, Interesting. What else is there from this match? Yeah, Wenger is Wenger's going all out. He's got the bit between his teeth now, and he's going after referees. He was even complaining about the refereeing of the Swansea Spurs match. So <laughs> he's really going for this. What, he actually wow. saw something. Say that again, sorry. Yeah, he actually saw something. Yeah, 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 he actually saw something. Yeah, he was watching a match that his team wasn't in. It's amazing, <laughs> you know. And, uh, yeah, he's really going for this. I, I'm loving this. He's like, uh, I don't know, he's like uh, Michael Douglas and falling down or something. He's just going to go completely <laughs> nuts on this now and crack some skulls. Um, right, so look, uh, uh, who wants this first? Martin? Yeah, Wenger said he stand by, stand, stands by everything he said as well. So if, if they come after him, then... And the Premier League, he'll stand by exactly what he says and accept his punishment. This is amazing. This is weird. all just all going to end in tears for everyone involved. It, yeah, I, I can't will. wait. But um, no, going back to this game, um, Arsenal are going to fill, fill, fill some kids in midweek. So um, if they've got some decent legs still from last night's game, they'll they'll play on this one. And it's the FA Cup, you know. They hold. They're the holders, and they seem to love this competition. They're not going to give it up lightly, to be honest. And, and, and Forest are in terrible form, uh, drawn to and lost three, lost five. Not even scored in the last three games either. Um, although you know they're just like Warburton, but they, they haven't got anyone in place yet, so that doesn't help. Um, I think just Arsenal are going to be professional, get the job done one or two nil. Um, so I actually think looking at the value. Um, Arsenal are a bit short, but both teams to score no is 2.02, and uh, that's what I've gone for. Um, I can't see Forrest scoring, to be honest. Oh, interesting, Dan. Um, I've, I've not put a bet on, I've not put a tip on yet for this because it's too far away. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure what Forrest are going to do after sacking Warburton. Uh, it's obvious something's not right there. You know, they're they're they're, mm. they're not in great form. I agree about Arsenal not wanting to let this go. I mean, like you say, they've got Chelsea midweek, uh, Chelsea midweek in the, uh, League Cup. They've got an established League Cup side, um, that they play. It's gonna be interesting how they rotate it now, cause they've got this game, then they've got Chelsea, uh, then they've got Bournemouth away in the Premier League. So, um, yeah. again, it's another one where they could do without a replay. So they're gonna to want to get the job done, I think. Uh, get the job done, get Forrest out of the way, um, the city ground, uh, it, it, is it a tough place to, for them to travel? You know, um, before um, the last couple, the last couple of games, Forest were actually pretty good at home. That you know, they'd won a few games. I think they won four in the bounce in the championship at one point at home. Mm. But yeah, um, I think it's going to be one of those ones where it's a, it's a just a routine one or two nil win. But I, I, I don't I do, see any value in this in, in, in this at the moment. I, I quite like what you, what you're going for, but again, it's lineups. Um, I mm. think defense is going to be key because Arsenal have got a few injuries at the moment. Like last night, they played what was it, Chambers and Holding at the back, and they're not the greatest. Um, are they, are they going to go with that sort of lineup again? Are they going to be forced into it? I don't know who's fit at the moment for our Arsenal. So, um. It's one where I'm going to wait and I'm going to uh, hold my uh, hold my powder, as it were, until um, I know a bit more about who's fit and who isn't. Fair enough, well, uh, think, um, Johnny. I was going to say, I was, sorry, sorry, I was going sorry, to say, sorry, Martin, walk away, walk away, yeah. That's right. I was just going to say, last time Forest went into an FA Cup game when 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 I was taking any notice, and um, when they weren't playing very well, they played us and uh, and did us five nil. So there you go. Yeah, bad memories of that one. Ouch, Johnny. Very tough game to predict. Uh, I was tempted by Nottingham Forest plus one, but then I read like at the first, when I first looked at the game. But then reading everything around it, um, 
uh, I was I eventually stick with, uh, with with no selection, with no pick on this one. It very much depends for me if nothing for us will appoint a coach until then or not. And then if they do, obviously the players will have a motivation to get the best out of them. Of course, they will be motivated anyway playing against Arsenal at home. But then the question is how will the Arsenal approach the game? I also think that the same as Martin and Dan said that they will want to get the job somehow done one nil two nil, not uh, not to play an extra game in their busy schedule. And if uh, they will play the youngsters in the upcoming next week in the in the Carabao Cup, then they have the option now to 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 play some of the uh, the better players uh, this weekend in the FA Cup. So looking at the odds, the goals market didn't really interest in. I I wouldn't touch even the both teams to score in in my opinion. So I just the best advice I I can give is not to select anything at least until the lineups are released and. More team news are known um, later during the weekend. Okay, fair enough, Johnny. Uh, I know you wanted to avoid the next one as well. So, um, and I just realised as well, I had a, a tab open on, in, in my browser, and I forgot to mention for the Wolves game. Apparently, Robbie yeah. Keane is going to come back to play oh, yeah. for Wolves. It's crazy. Great scenes. Yeah, <laughs> great scenes. Yeah. Um, so uh, the last match then I want to talk about is the, a derby that isn't really a derby, but people think it's a derby. Well, the fans think it's a derby <laughs> anyway. Uh, Brighton and Palace. Uh, Dan? I've not got anything for this game. It's way too far in advance for me. Um, I, I don't get why... Well, I do get why this is a derby, because they're actually um, Brighton's closest uh, league team. Well, was, until Crawley uh, came up. He's Palace. Mm. Uh, and the, you know the, there's there's apparently a bit of history between the two teams over something or other um, change on a table I seem to remember Terry someone Venables yeah, spilled someone, some tea or something yeah someone slammed some money on a table that's the most like English that. thing ever we don't like you because <laughs> your manager spilled tea ooh fisticuffs yeah I mean to be honest um, I'm not a big fan of Palace myself having been to Selhurst Park one of the most horrible grounds in London to get to and it's a wood it, it, it's just horrible. And, and they do all that Tifosi crap as well. <laughs> um, you know, I, I should just back Brighton just because I don't like Palace. I mean, <laughs> um, no, I've, I've not gone for anything on this. I'm not even sh- sure. No, it's not on pro, not even on Pro Tips yet, so I've not oh, even okay. got any odds. Fair enough. Um, yeah, it's way too far in advance. All right, Martin, what do you think? Um, a little bit of a... It's a tough one to call. Uh, and like Dan said, not on Pro Tips yet, but... Uh, the draw's around 3.2. That's probably what I'll go for. Not, you know, neither side are going to want to replay, but again, neither side are going to want to lose it. So I can see this one being a draw. Like the league game, the league game recently, back in October, I think it was, or whenever, um, there was a load of trouble. That ended nil nil. Um, I think there'll be a load of trouble again. It'll be a draw. Go to a replay. That'll be a draw and someone will win it on penalties. Um, but yeah, Glenn, Glenn Murray's actually come out and said he played for both clubs. He's come out and said that his side are prepared to go to war to win the game, and expect Palace to do the same. So it'd be a, it'd be a good good watch. Oh, nice. But I, I don't think I don't think either side will win it. Okay, fair enough. Well, look, that wraps up our FA Cup uh, previews. There, loads of great uh, expert advice and tips there for you all. I wanted to, to squeeze in some Syria. Uh, you all know by now I'm a big fan of Italian football. Uh-huh. I, I even watched Serie B fairly regularly. Yes, I am that sad. Wow. Uh, <laughs> but there was absolutely nothing of interest from Syria at all. There's a full program of matches but just nothing sticks out. So, uh, let's just uh, we'll wrap things up then. So, can you tell us, uh, Johnny, we'll start with you. Uh, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, yeah, I'm probably to join you on Twitter and on Facebook. Uh, notably, I'm using more Facebook than Twitter, so I'm very active in the groups as well, which we have on Facebook. So, so probably to join you on Twitter, Facebook. Magic. Uh, Martin? Yeah, come and find me and say hello. hello. I manage the ProTips.ENG account on Twitter, and I've also uh, got my own account, ProTips.M, on Twitter as well. And on Facebook, ProTips to Martin, three separate words, you'll find me on that. Magic and Dan. Proceed to Dan on Twitter. Proceed to Dan on Facebook. All one word. Um, yeah, I, 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 I do. We, we're doing these tips of the day live now. So if you want to marvel at my somewhat less, uh, uh, somewhat lesser beard <laughs> than it was, God, it's cold. Um, yeah. 
come come say hello, come come talk to us. Got any questions? Please ask us. That's what we're here for. Uh, we want to help you improve your betting. I also look after all the emails for Pro Tips. So if you uh, if you've got a question for us, just respond to our emails. We'll pick them up and we'll we'll help you out. Um, definitely for sure. Magic, good stuff. And you can find me then uh, Pro Tips to Pod. On Twitter, I have a Pro Tips to Paddy account now on Facebook as well. And uh, yeah, but uh, as Dan said, uh, probably the best way of getting in touch with all of us is going to Facebook and looking up Pro Tips to UK. As he said, we're putting out uh, uh, live stream videos of our tips every day now. So we're going to have two, if not three videos per day up on there so keep an eye out and give us a like over there so look thanks everyone for listening we hope you're uh, uh, looking forward to the FA Cup action as much as Martin is uh, no one else seems to be but that's just the way it is look Shrewsbury away <laughs> <laughs> Shrewsbury away <laughs> see Shrewsbury I'd be all over Shrewsbury away I'd be all over that I, I, as a fan going to the game but nothing more Joe Hark going back to his roots <laughs> right so look we'll be back uh, we won't come out with a, with a podcast on Monday because there's, there's no Premier League action to be talking about we'll be back Back on Wednesday with another Pro Tips to show combined 11 and then back on Thursday with um, our usual Thursday podcast where we look forward to the weekend's action. You can of course listen to the Pro Tips to Football show on iTunes, Android Podcatchers, YouTube and our Pro Tips to blog site too. So please do us a favour and share the love and tell all your football mad buddies all about our wonderful podcast. And of course... Don't forget to go to protipster.com, sign up there and share your winning sports tips and we'll even give you money if you're good at it. Right, enjoy the football and we'll speak to you soon then. Good luck. Thanks for listening, everybody. Don't forget to check out protipster.com where you can earn money by sharing winning football tips. Check us out on YouTube and Instagram. Our handles there are protipsterglobal or get in touch on Twitter, protipsteren or protipsterirl. Bye.